Greetings and welcome to the Thirsty Mage, the podcast that needs no excuse to purchase a new platform. Welcome to the podcast, I'm David Lloyd, and this episode may come across as an advertisement for Valve, but rest assured, we're just super excited about the possibilities of the Steam Deck now that we're two years into the release. And the platform has uh, continued to evolve. Uh, you know, the, the operating system has gotten so much better. There's uh, an OLED version out there right now. And yeah, we're going to talk about uh, whether or not the Steam Deck could be considered the best way to play RPGs uh, to date. Here with me is the proud owner of his very own OLED Steam Deck. It's Casey Gibson. Mm. Man, it's funny. It, it's so good. Especially after using the Switch for so long. Ugh. <laughs> it's uh, more fun using something that's uh, not running on uh, potato energy. Uh, not even that. Just a controller that doesn't suck. Oh, my goodness. Um, but, yeah. No, it's... Uh, yeah, I, I guess if you listen to, to me over on Talk Nintendo, you I don't play my, my, my Switch too much these days. Um, you know, aside from, obviously, the Nintendo banger that that come out here and there especially and it's not over you know obviously i'm gonna be getting zelda and stuff uh in in september but yeah it oh man this is just it feels like a like a whole nother league you know what i mean it's you know feels like a two switch generation is, skip yes yeah, it's, it's <laughs> really just playing uh check uh che- checkers excuse me and the yeah. uh, valve has got the uh the chess going on um yeah it, it feels like to me like the Steam Deck is what like the Switch 2 wants to be or like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel yeah. like if the Switch 2 came out and it was like what this is, it'd be like, oh, baby, very nice, you know? Yeah, I don't I don't see that happening <laughs> just because uh, when you look at like the handheld market in general has kind of exploded when you think of like all these uh, up and comers. Like, the, like I said, Steam Deck released, I believe, in February of 2022. And uh, it. it you know, there was some short shortages in the supply initially uh, because, you know, with COVID and everything. But yeah, I remember it used to be like people were waiting weeks for it to ship out. Uh, and I thought the weekend was bad, you know? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, yeah, I remember. I think some people were waiting like six months when they first first came out. Uh, I know I didn't get mine right away. I ended up uh, ordering. I think I waited about a month or, or two, uh, I believe. Uh, it was still shorter than what a lot of people were like. I I had purchased like when a, a big shipment had just come in. Um, so I, I'm still running off like that original, not not the first run of the Steam Deck, but it's like the second run when they when the stock was coming back up. That That's probably the better one to be in anyway. Yeah, because I know uh, the like the f- kind of first wave, there was some controversy over the fans like they had run at. They were uh, low stock on the fans that were cooling the system so you could get i guess there was like two different suppliers that they were using and one supplier was better than the other so uh, i think some people uh, might have got uh, an inferior fan that's a bit n- bit noisier uh, i was Alex. lucky so yeah <laughs> uh, that'd be unfortunate if that that was the case but uh like i don't hear my fan i've I, and i know i checked i ended up checking uh, i think there was like serial numbers you could check or something that you could figure out what fan you're running on and and i had the the better one thank god but uh yeah i don't know there's just it, so there's been like things like the rog ally there's been like the logitech d cloud yeah um, i see it, for, when i was sort of looking up um uh, about the steam deck and yeah i feel like the ally seems to be the biggest <laughs> fitting enough that the biggest rival uh, <laughs> yeah. of, of, um, of the steam deck, at least, I mean, I'm sure there's other ones. I think the ally is a little more expensive, right? From what I get yeah, a little more expensive, but I think a little it's, more horsepower though. Yeah. It's got a little bit more horsepower. I think the screen, like a, I can, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure it's a 1080 screen. Um, so it's, it's a little, like it's a little bit better, but yeah, it's more expensive. And then the battery, but I know the battery life is like, poor yeah it's pretty poor compared to the steam deck and then it runs uh windows based so and windows is clearly not made for <laughs> handheld so yeah there's, yeah like it doesn't run like the os doesn't run as smoothly or as easily as uh, the steam like the steam os which is like a linux of, based right I, I think yeah yeah so it uses oh i can't remember the technical but there's like um 
yeah, it's a it's a Linux based operating system. So there is like a desktop mode you can go into uh, if you want to kind of um, get all tinker with everything, or if you want to side load whatever you want. Like anything will go on it. Um, but when you're in kind of like the default, I would call it like console mode. I would it would be a better way to put it. It's it's v- super easy for someone who with like zero computer knowledge to just jump into a Steam Deck. And just start, you know, downloading games and purchasing them. Like it's, uh, yeah, I could probably. I mean, my dad plays some like Xbox, like 360 and stuff. But I, I'm sure, yeah, he would be able to navigate. You know, the yeah, and, menuing. It's it, like you said, it's got the nice big tiles. It's yeah, very intuitive. I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no like you never have to go into developer mode or desktop mode if you don't if you don't want to go there. It's really just for adding certain things like uh, i know uh we had uh we were playing uh, some diablo not too long ago so i had side loaded like the blizzard uh launcher, the battle net right? or whatever it's called yeah. yeah the launcher uh so you can do that or, or you can uh, put I, di- I haven't done it but i'm i know you can do the epic launcher uh one thing i did do though is i i installed xbox uh the iCloud service for like when I have the ultimate pass uh, so that I can play cloud games from Xbox there. And then I also, uh, there's a, an app, a PlayStation app, so I can play my PS5 uh, remotely on my Steam Deck. Oh, really? That's crazy. Yeah. Huh. Because it's, you know, I was thinking too, just, uh, you know, now that I've got one, I've, I've been peeping Steam, obviously, a bit more and just all the sales and stuff going on. Um, and it's like, yeah, well, it's like I own Diablo four, uh, you know, through Battle.net. And like you could buy it on Steam. I wonder if there's a way to connect it or if it would just be like the whole go side side load. But, you know, Diablo four would probably look real good on the 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 OLED. Um, but yeah, it, it it's very easy to use. And it's funny, like the switch is like, you know, I don't think it's a small by any means but then like once you hold the steam deck you're like oh baby (laughs) this thing's a a boat you know what i mean um but not in a bad way like it's super comfortable right like it's got like the nice sort of uh um contours yeah in in the back so yeah you got some meat and potatoes to grab back there um instead of just the flat joy cons and like it a a little like it's got the the track pads on the you know on both sides i haven't really used that uh, in a game so so pretty much i played doom eternal uh hades and that's pretty much it like i, I like loaded up a couple other games just to like fiddle for like a minute or two but those are the two games i've really been playing um and uh they, they don't need the trackpad but i did like sort of use it to look around in doom for a bit um not not the best way to do it but i guess you know for some games like that have like more menuing or I, I, like i guess i'm thinking like maybe like sim uh, like city builders and stuff, it might be better to use the trackpad uh, instead of the joysticks. But it yeah. does have like tons of buttons, even right. Like you've got obviously the the left and right bumpers and triggers, but you've also got four on the back, like that your like middle and like ring fingers could press. Yeah. Um, so there's no shortage of button configuration you can do on this puppy either, which is nice. Yeah, and I like the the setup too because they've got the D pad right next to the left joystick, and they're like side by side. So mm-hmm. the uh, I've actually played a lot of uh, 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 D pad games, like even recently. Like I was just playing. We're gonna have an episode shortly uh, about indie games where I played this uh, Metroidvania called Gestalt, and I used the D pad throughout the whole thing, uh, and it feels terrific. Like it it feels. Um, it, it's funny that. <laughs> I feel like the D pad on the the original Nintendo is still like the best D pad I've ever used. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, and I'm sure people would probably uh, also argue like this: the Super NES would be next in line there. They don't and, make them like they used to. No, but this is the closest I've ever I've ever really gotten. I feel like, um, you know, with the PlayStation controllers, like especially the Dual Sense, like the D pad's not bad, but it's it's you not like have, a D pad. It's like four, four buttons, buttons. You know? Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't it doesn't really feel the same like this one is like it's like a full D pad. So you can kind of like, f- you know, move your thumb around and really feel it and makes it easier for like the diagonals and stuff like it, it feels really good. And then with having like the face buttons right up against the side, too. And then you've got the I like how the joysticks 
um, are in line. Like there, there's not like one up and one down or whatever, like on the, on the switch or, uh, like on an Xbox controller, like it, it's I, got I don't, the PlayStation. Yeah. More, yeah, it's kind of yeah. vibey. Yeah. That was the thing is like the PlayStation joysticks are down are a little further down, obviously, but the fact that they're uh, parallel to each other or, or you know, perpendicular or whatever, like just in the same like area, uh i i just find it better because it's easier to hold like especially a handheld when you're holding the whole thing like your hands are in the same spot on each side you know Mm -hmm. yeah no no definitely um it feels really good and then like the screen is just so i I, like i said i'm I'm rocking the oled and i guess the only oled screen i've ever really messed with was back on the vita and like i do and the first game i played on was persona 4 golden so like definitely a good game to have like a nice oled screen um and i just remember like super nice like how how great it was so to get um to get the oled i was really excited and and man the screen is huge like (laughs) yeah in a good way right like i think like so i think the lcds are seven and i think the oleds are like 7.1 or two or like a tiny yeah slightly bigger yeah because the bezels are smaller i believe Yeah. yeah so but it's just like it, oh, so nice. Like playing Doom was like, oh, my God, this is crazy. Um, and Hades, too. Like the colors are just wonderful. Now, I will say some some of the text is hard to read um, more specifically in Doom uh, that that I've noticed. But I, and of course, like whenever you go in the store, it'll tell you like if it's deck verified. Yeah. Like, most of the ones that like so it's either green, right, where it's like pretty much like, hey, it's optimized to run run well in the deck without having to do anything. And then like, if it's verified with like a, a yellow, um, it'll sort of tell you like, Hey, you know, the default control schemes work, this, this, this. And then like, it usually like the, the ones I've noticed, like the text it will be small, uh, and sort of hard to read or it'll be like, it'll give you button prompts, but it'll be for like a, a keyboard mouse instead of like, you know, a B X, Y kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's weird. Those like the the yellow uh, prompts are are kind of uh, I, I don't know what the word would be, but it just it can throw you off because what it could be is it, it could like I've played Square Enix games where they're where they're rated yellow, but it's only because like when you first start up the game and you have to put in a name, you have to use the onboard keyboard. So yeah, now it's yeah. not verified. And like, that's literally the only thing about the game that, that, that like, if that wasn't there, it would be a, a full, fully verified game. And, and then um, I think I've, cause I was looking at, and you'll actually probably know this <laughs> probably better than almost anyone. Uh, I was going to say like the trails in the sky game. Um, yeah. Like I was wondering if they would run on deck and like, I'm pretty sure if you look them up, they're like hard, like not verified at all. But then people say they work fine on there. And that I guess, like, I don't know why on the store it says not, but I'm assuming I, I, you've played a lot on here. Yeah, I've, I, well, I own all the Trails games on Steam, so yeah, and they've all so, played fine for me. And I, I think in that case, it's just because uh, they didn't want to go through the process, maybe yeah. or something. Like I don't know if X, if it's X Seed or Neon Falcom, just Game didn't paying that five dollar you know. face face. Yeah, fee. like I don't, I don't know what it is, but yeah, like they were perfectly fine. There's nothing. Yeah, so nothing about it. I, I think you might have sent me a site. I know you sent me a couple. Um, or, or maybe that's Alex. I actually, I think it might've been Alex who sent me some sites, but um, they have like whole websites dedicated to like, if a game runs and then like, I, I've seen a lot, even just on like YouTube where to it, like, it'll show a game running at the different settings and what frames you get and you know h- how it all looks. So it, it seems like uh, barring probably a brand new game, you know, potentially, you know, you having to figure it out, but if it's a somewhat older game, you're going to be able to find a setting. I mean, unless if the game, obviously like if it's just a game that doesn't a hundred percent work, but like a, a lot of them seem to just, you need to tweak some settings um, and then you can get it rocking and rolling pretty good. Yeah. And one of the things I like too, is like the community of steam deck folks is massive. Like it's just huge. So if you can actually go into any game and when you go into the controller settings, there's usually like some kind of like, um optimized controller setting that the community has already kind of mutually agreed is the best way to play the game mm-hmm. and so you could go in and just you can just select that like because i know there's a lot of times where you'll go in and 
you know, maybe the game's not optimized for Steam Deck. So you're like, oh, I want to change this and that. And it's like, no, you don't have to even worry about that because someone's already done it for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's already Save you the work. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we could probably go over, the, uh, you know, with the platform being as great as it is, uh, a platform is only as great as the games you can play on it. Uh, so uh, yeah, I think going over f- some of the the different games uh, would be worthwhile. Like you had mentioned, um, you know, with Trails, this is basically the only platform you can play <laughs> every Trails game because uh, until they, you know, Neham Falcom finishes that uh, Trails in the Sky remake that we all believe that they're making, uh, you know, this is the only place where you can get <laughs> the the trilogy, and then you can get the Crossbell Arc and the cr- the Cold Steel games and now uh you know the uh, i'm sure trails to reverie is on there but it sucks so don't worry about it but um uh trails through daybreak is available on there like you know y- you got that and then square enix is uh pretty much like going full in on on pc now too like especially lately where they're like you know the the ps5 exclusives it doesn't seem like the strategy is working for them so you know the the president there kiryu uh, which always seems weird to say um, with with <laughs> yeah. the, the Yakuza games, but um, yeah, like they uh, they basically said like we're going for you know a multi platform uh, releases going forward. So I think you're going to see most games that are made by Square Enix are going to be uh, on the PC and, and along with uh, PlayStation. I don't think they're going to worry about Xbox all that much. Like you might see like if Xbox pays to have it ported, I'm sure they will, but I I can't see them doing that. And then there's going to be games that are just not going to play on switch. Like I know everyone's excited for switch too, but I still don't believe it's going to be, um, be able to do what a steam deck can do. Even, even with like a two year, like steam decks, two year head start. Like there's, there's, technology is still so far above the game that I, I don't see Nintendo catching up to them uh, with the switch too. Yeah. I don't know. I could see, I could see it getting to like a PS four level graphics for, for the switch Two, um, which would sort of cap out. I guess that's sort of what the steam deck is more or less, right? Like, yeah, well, like we, we've just started, um, you know, playing uh, Final Fantasy. F- well, we were about to play Final Fantasy 15. Uh, for anyone who's uh, interested in either playing with us or following along, uh, make sure you hit us up on the Discord. We have a channel specifically for it. Uh, you know, the Steam, uh, Steam, I guess, or Steam Deck, like you can play Final Fantasy 7 Remake on there. Uh, I'm sure Rebirth will be on there uh, once the... The exclusivity window ends, which seems to be a year. Um, That'll be when uh, hopefully the Sid DLC comes uh, comes yeah. with it. Fingers crossed. Yeah, uh, yeah. Final Fantasy 16 is uh, like a straight up PS PS5 exclusive, and uh, it's it's not available yet. But I know uh, they're working on the PC version, so who knows? That should be out sooner or later, I'd imagine. And uh, I'd imagine that Square Enix is going to make sure it can run on a Steam Deck too. Like it's just it's a big deal, so it's you know they're they're looking for ways to uh, to get that working. I'm sure. Yep. And, well, they've been getting their 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 sales figures in this last couple weeks. Yeah. My, uh, my Final Fantasy. Uh, I was going to say Steam. <laughs> you you'll be able to attest to the fact that every single Final Fantasy is available. <laughs> well, yeah. every single Final Fantasy up to 15 is available on on Steam. Well, it's funny, too, though, like, I guess if I had, let, let's let say Final Fantasy 17 comes out for PlayStation and, you know, and Steam Deck simultaneously, I still think like for like a Final Fantasy game, I don't know, on the big screen, I, I feel like for a first playthrough, I would still go. I think I'd still go PS5, you know, or <laughs> probably PS6 <laughs> when, yeah. when that game actually releases. Yeah. But um but yeah, but then it's also like like Shin Megami Tensei Ven- uh, Five Vengeance. Like I, the second that game goes on sale, they've got it's sold. And like <laughs> they're gonna be like, it's two dollars off. I'm like sold. Um, I, like I think that game is gonna be absolutely perfect to play on on the deck. Oh, and like and an OLED, OLED specifically. Yeah, yeah. like I, that. I am like I've actually if, if it didn't already have like you know us wanting to play fifteen and and all that good stuff. I was gonna say if I, I didn't have any games, which which is a funny thing to say because there's just so many. Um, yeah. 
that I would probably just buy it full price, but but yeah, the second that thing goes on sale, I can't wait. Yeah, and then uh, so I, I've actually I think I've played almost every Final Fantasy on the deck now. I think about because because <laughs> uh, they're you know one through six is pixel remaster, uh, so I played through all of those, and they've got seven port and they, like you said uh, remake, remake and eventually rebirth. Yeah, so and I uh, I think I got. Well, I got, I started Final Fantasy VII, but got distracted, uh, the OG, and then uh, Final Fantasy VIII, uh, the remastered edition is is on my deck, ready for me to play. I got that one uh, this past week. Final Fantasy IX's there. Uh, I didn't get nine for seven and nine. They were both so cheap too. Like they, yeah. I mean, they're not that expensive when they're you know, full price, but like sixty percent off, you know. Oh, but yeah. it was one of those like with the, all the rumors of nine coming. Like uh, like a remake of nine, like I was like, I need to, I need to put my foot down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is where I draw the line, Square Enix. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Until they come up with their eighty percent off sale. Yeah, yeah. And then they'll get you. I'm like, well, I'm practically losing money if I don't spend the money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, looks yeah, so looks that looks great on uh, deck. Uh, I just recently played through Final Fantasy X, uh, which I'll be doing a uh, Patreon one. only podcast for sooner or later. It's. Uh, it looked it looked amazing on deck. Well, who knows? Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, well, probably not. I was gonna say maybe I'll I'll finish it by the time you you record that. But unless if you don't play, no, I gotta do that, that soon. for a year. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm behind. I gotta get that one done. Um, that would be a good game for you though, because I know uh, it seems like a Final Fantasy that would be up your alley because it's not really an open world. It's it's definitely a, a, a very scripted. Uh, experience that that they want you to go through uh <laughs> you know it's really funny I, I just um you know on my library uh in steam just sort of hovering over the games we're talking about and i scrolled down and, and what is, is your like someone else uh posted that same exact screenshot that you sent me earlier today oh really it, it's right on like <laughs> it's on that like i just i'm on the, the it might be game. mine though berserk Oh no, that's not me. Well, that's what I thought. I was like, I'm pretty sure yours is just the thirsty mage, right? Yeah. Um, no, somebody else. It looks exactly <laughs> the same picture, <laughs> and it's got 27 thumbs up. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! I'm missing. I'm missing out. I got to post more of those, apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those could have been all your likes. Um, yeah. but yeah, yeah. I, I picked up this as well. It was uh, I, and you know, I got one of my buddies from high school. Um, this is like his favorite game of all time. So. Uh, yeah. I, this was actually one I did play a tiny bit on the Vita. Um, I, I picked it up and for whatever reason, I, you know, I put it down, but I, I played enough to like with the sphere, right? Like the skill sphere or, yeah. or whatever they call it. And obviously blitz ball and all that good stuff. But, um, but yeah, no, definitely one I've been wanting to, to get back to. Yeah. And 12, 13, uh, you can side load 14. Yeah, got 13. Uh, 15, I got 14. clearly we're playing. Uh, all the Yakuza games are available on Steam. Yeah, th- that one, that's another one. Actually, Alex got me Yakuza 0 um, for Christmas for PlayStation. I-, I do need to play that at some point. There's just too, too many dang games. <laughs> this was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, all the Persona games are on there. Yeah, that. well, good thing I like I played through five recently and like, I wouldn't mind replay like the three remake at some point if that goes on a crazy big sale. I, I guess, like you said, you could sort of do the PC game pass right with that. But like I said, I think the next next Atlas game I'm playing is is Vengeance. Yeah, uh, well, that's it's funny. Uh, I was just about to type in uh, Shin Megami Tensei to see like they probably got all of them, too. Yeah, yeah. Three's on there. Uh, I don't think four is, but that's because that's a 3DS port. Yeah, or 3ds game, I should say. So it might be, dude. Those games are so goddamn good too. Yeah. Well, I, I guess we, for legal reasons, we don't want to get too uh, in, into that part of it. But oh, uh, you could find ways to. <laughs> you can side. You can. You can. There are emulators available in the desktop version. Uh, so, I mean, whether or not we consider that part of uh, the platform, uh, that basically is able to play <laughs> like any. You could, uh, yeah. <laughs> any game of, that you can think of. Um, I know. Uh, well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say the the 
the Switch emulator's name just in case uh, <laughs> Nintendo has like some yeah, kind of uh, yeah, yeah. AI that's going through all the podcasts to see who who utters the word. It's like uh, saying Voldemort or something. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's there's ways to play those games too. Uh, yeah, and I've got like so many Square Enix games on. Like uh, all the Saga games are on there. Um, I've downloaded, I think, like all the the um, the Mana games. Yeah, I say Trials of Mana, I believe. Right, yeah. and then, isn't there a new one coming out? Yeah, and I'm I'm sure it's on there. Um, look it up while we're talking there. But the yeah, like all all those old games. It's just it's incredible. Like the the catalog that's on on Steam, and then like there's an argument to be made that uh valve is the like obviously you can't own physical games with steam but when you look at like all of the games that never seemingly never like there's there are games that end up being getting taken down for licensing reasons but like there's the, the original fallout games been on there for like 20 years they're like from probably like from the beginning of when it was available you know yeah i, I feel like you know with steam it's always just been steam right like obviously they've introduced the deck and that stuff now but you know it was one of those things where like yeah i, I bought uh although actually my my sister stole my original uh steam account um which but like it probably that one still has games i bought in like 2011 during a, a summer sale you know what i mean um you know where like i i get the sort of hesitancy with um with like especially nintendo right but even playstation and and xbox and stuff where it's like yeah, I bought I bought Resident Evil Four on PlayStation Four. I don't want to buy it again on PS Five, you know. Um, yeah. And I don't trust them that it's just going to cohesively work on PS Six and Seven, you know. Where at least here, it's like, yeah, it's like it's as long as my computer doesn't suck, like you know what I mean. I'm going to be able to play these games. Uh, yeah. I, I'm going to have the license or you know whatever they. Like you said, the, the, however they cl- classify it, but I'll be able to play it. Um, so I, I've never felt yeah bad or, or I guess I should say I'm more receptive to like just buying things and like having it because I'm not worried about losing it with Steam. Yeah. And uh, Steam games always seem to be like the cheapest of all the platforms, too. Oh, uh, those summer sales, man, they're dangerous. Oh, the Christmas sales are even worse. <laughs> like, Ooh, I can't wait. Yeah, like the uh, the box round out my Final Fantasy collection. <laughs> I, yeah, like I almost wanted. Well, I did. Like last Christmas, people were asking, I'm like, just get me a Steam gift card because like the sales on and the boxing, like the Boxing Week sales are just ridiculous. Yeah, well, that's like so. I've I actually have Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remaster from uh, from your you actually during our Secret Santa, um, and now it's like. I played a little bit on the computer, but like, like I said, it's just like, ah, but now that I've played on the Steam Deck, oh, I can't wait to like, I've never played, I guess one through six, I've beaten six. And I think that's it. Oh, man, you're you're in for cheat. So I, I, I know those first three four, games are, are like 10 hours a piece, too. Yeah, I know four is really good. And five, I heard is like that one's the one you could really mess around with the job system, right? Like people. I yeah. think that's why they love five so much, but yeah. And then the the remasters just look so good. Like I said, I fired up four on, on the OLED and it was just like, Ooh, and the music is so good. Oh my goodness. And like, Oh gosh. Too Baldur's Gate three, Baldur's Gate three is available on there. One. Oh, well, the that's best, yeah. Best I, games got, in recent years. I've got, I just don't know if, if those games are, I always feel like such an idiot. Like I'm just really bad at those games. I don't know. They're um, such a commitment, like because there's like it's like a hundred hours minimum. Yeah, because I've got it uh, for PS5, so it's not something you know. It probably is easier with the deck, especially just being so long. Like it's such a long game. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, again, like I have Elden Ring for PlayStation Five, and and that's why I'll play that. Um, but from uh, from what I understand, it runs really well on the Steam Deck, also. Yeah. Now, did you pick up the free desk job game? Uh, I don't think so. I uh, I would recommend picking that up. It's made by the folks that made like the portal stuff. Uh, What's it uh, called? Desk job. Aperture, aperture's desk job. Yep. 
So it should it should be free. It's like a just a short game. Yeah, play. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll add it to the library. Yeah, because it's uh, yeah, like it's so it's made by Valve or or whoever made the Portal games. I appreciate yeah, Valve. Yeah, yeah, Valve. And um, it's basically kind of like I I would uh, compare it to Astro's Playroom in the sense that it's like specifically made to show you what the deck can do. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah. Free play. Yeah, it's made. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I'll check that out. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. It's verified. Um, yeah, <laughs> I would imagine. hope so. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and so you, you, you mean you got pretty much every non Nintendo RPG that you could think of, uh, just sitting, like, you know, pr- available for purchase in in the Steam official library. But then, uh, well, and then you got like all the indie games. Like, there's so many indie games that just never left Steam, or they're they're cross platform that are available, and they're usually cheaper than their console counterparts. Yeah, there there's a lot of games just. Um, especially like, I, like I said, I always sort of like like the city builders or like theme park builders, you know, like the Sim Cities, ty- roller coaster tycoons and stuff. And like they're just like they have a whole tab, right? And then you go into there, and there's just all these cool games um, that just look super cool. And then you look, and it's like, oh, they've got like really great reviews overall. Um, so it's like, oh, let me just throw it on the old watch list. Or, or wish list, I guess. Oh, it is. that wish then, list is dangerous. Yep. And then you get an email when it goes on sale and it's just <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, boom, you know, um, and, and like slay the spire, uh, 66% off. So it's like, you know, 850 instead of 25. Um, I mean, and then obviously like there's some that are like, oh, no man's sky. Did you see the, the update for that? No, but I, I have it. I did buy it on steam at one point. So. It looks cool. It's funny because I bought it for PlayStation um, mainly because I want, you know, for uh, for VR um, and it's really cool in VR, but it's one of those games. I feel like it'd be like, all right, I want to play this game and build up my my resources and base on like, a, you know, on the Steam Deck or, or even just like, you know, on the TV and then like jump in every once in a while to do VR uh, to like explore like what you've built and stuff. Yeah. Um, so like, it, but it stinks also because it feels like it would be a great game to play handheld on the deck, you know, gather resources and stuff. But yeah, I'm not going to, I mean, it is 60% yeah. off that game's on sale a lot, but uh, it well, is crazy. Like the turnaround they had from when yeah. like, they first launched <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and like disappointment to like one of the, one of the best, uh, the most goaded games in terms of just yeah. like the, the updates and just how like they love this game. I, I yeah. guess we were even talking with Stardew, right? Stardew Valley. It's like these people are just so, you know, impassioned, which you love to see, you know, that's yeah. it obviously uh, it shows in the final products. Yeah. And yeah, we, we both picked up Stardew. Uh, I have when uh, I was a backer of Sea of Stars, so I have that on my deck um there there's plenty of like smaller like i j- recently reviewed athenian uh rhapsody which was like a, a pretty good one uh oh i have uh you, you gave me darkest dungeon uh mm. for for last i think it was last christmas one uh, of them yeah yeah so i got that uh i got all the danganronpas <laughs> on my deck oh uh, it it's funny too, because I was even like, I almost, and honestly, I might even just rebuy it at some point. But like, uh, Vampire Survivors, I was just oh, like, yeah. oh, like, I, I mean, I have it on the Switch, but it's like for five bucks, and it's like, oh, the game is just so good. Because <laughs> like, so, so pretty much like, so like I said, I've been playing Doom Eternal, which is just like mind boggling how well it works on the the Steam Deck and how good it looks. Um, but I've been playing that and then I've been playing Hades, both games. You sort of really got to pay attention to, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, So it's like, that's why I ended up with Stardew Valley where it's like, okay, I can sort of more like just relax and, you know, um, but in that same sense, I was like vampire slayers, just that one, like all you got to do is move your character around, you know, like the the simplicity of it, but man, that game is just so addicting. (laughs) It's crazy. Yeah, it's funny. It's f- f- just going through. Uh, so I have my Steam Deck in front of me and going through my library and there's like games that I forgot I even bought. <laughs> like I just recently bought and it's funny because it still says new to library. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, damn it. Uh, I, I got the uh, 
the remastered uh, romancing saga min- minstrel song oh man um, you were just throwing cash all over the joint huh i was and then right next to it i got romancing saga two and three um I remember I had started Shadows Over Loathing. Uh, Paige and I were we had started playing that. Um, Shovel Knight. I, I got shovel all like a bunch of Shovel Knights on there. Shovel Knight Dig. Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. Dude, Shovel Knight Two. Like that was absurd. That they that all that DLC. <laughs> yeah, I know. Eh? And it's funny. It's like you know most like Kickstarter and stuff like that. You know. It, they they tell you what they're going to give you and then they don't give it to you or they like make it like, oh, like, oh, that was going to be free, but it was way more work. So now it's DLC where like and this one, it's like we want to give you more money, you know, like <laughs> but charge us for some of these DLC, like the, the fifth, sixth, seventh one, like they were just giving away for free still. Yeah. It's like, Jesus. Uh, one franchise that might be up your alley uh i actually got this game for free when i bought my graphics card (laughs) monster hunter world is verified on deck Mm, yeah i thought about that uh it's funny because i think i got that for a ps plus free game at some point oh Um, yeah yeah especially i wonder if they're gonna make wilds right that's the new one yeah like i if they could get that running on the deck but if not, I'll probably be playing that one on PlayStation anyway, just because, like, <laughs> you know, that's going to look so sick on the big screen. Yeah. Well, and the uh, the other good thing about Deck 2 is uh, I, I'm not sure how how strong your PC is, but uh, I love that the the deck is because it's connected to your Steam account. It, it there's It's a seamless transition for free cloud services. <laughs> so, like, all your saves, like, you could literally be playing a game on your steam deck and then you head over, you know, you shut it down and you turn on your PC and you can start from exactly where, you know, your last save, like it was nothing. It's funny. Yeah. I I looked on that. I've got a pretty good, pretty good computer. Uh, Not like a, Oh my God, gonna, you know, knock the socks off you graphically, but like it it could play probably every game just about, you know? Um, But yeah, I did look that. I was like, I wonder if you can do those those like transfers. And and that is pretty cool. Um, You know, again, it's funny. I don't really like gaming on the PC unless if it's like like Blizzard games, right? Like, yeah, like Diablo. I I know now they're on console and stuff, but it's just always been a computer game to me. So like Diablo MMOs, like those kind of games like I I can play in the computer, but anything else like that's why, like even the the Pixel Remaster 4 was like, even like trying to set up controller and sitting on my computer chair, like it's like, ah, just, you know, but that's why it's actually going to be sick as hell to, to play on the steam deck at one point. So yeah. Monster Hunter rise and monster Hunter wilds, uh, are both on steam deck. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-wee. Heck yeah. Yeah. Rise, uh, wo- monster Hunter world and monster Hunter rise are available now and they're verified. And then, uh, yeah, Wilds is listed. Clear, obviously not out yet. Twenty twenty six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Another one I've got in my uh, my wish list here is Near Automata. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good. That's, one. It's funny. I I bought that actually. I do have that for PS four also. Um, I think I bought that at GameStop. It was like super cheap, and I was like, okay, throw it on there. Um, because I, again, it's I know people have talked so highly about it. Um. Yeah, I'll have to again. That that might be a good sale game because right now it's still listed at forty. Yeah, I'm just going through my wish list now. I've got like some weird ones. I got like Dragon Quest Hero Slime Edition. Uh, waiting for. Uh, is that is that Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition in your in your wish list? There? <laughs> Hell's no. <laughs> um, I got oh the the last voice of cards. I was kind of waiting for a big sale on because I hadn't played that one yet. Uh. I got uh, I got some like weird Square Enix games on there like Outriders and Million Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Going down the line there. Yeah, it, they always go on sale, but I'm like, ah, I'll leave that to the end. Um, <laughs> I got well, uh, if you're interested in uh, and in Resident Evil games uh, right now, there must be a huge Capcom sale. Oh, yeah. Seventy five percent off 60 a bunch. Yeah, pretty, pretty heavy discounts. Yeah, I got Front Front Mission 1 remake on there, Frostpunk 2. Um, I, 
Oh, that I don't think that one's out yet. I September twentieth. Yeah, yeah, it's funny because I believe um, we both had the first one I got on sale. I, I needed. Have you tried that on the deck yet, or no? No, I ha- I own own it, but I haven't tried it on the deck. Actually, I should see if it's verified. But I, I think it's one of those ones where like um, it's not a hundred percent verified, but it like it works kind of thing. From what I understand, um, it does look like a really cool game. Uh, yeah, just take head over to the library here. Um, <laughs> the old library. The old library. Sorry, what game were we just talking about? Frostpunk. <laughs> Frostpunk, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I got distracted by because uh, the Valkyria Valkyria Chronicles games are on there. Uh, that's how I uh, played. I think it was the first one is I played on uh, on deck. Um, oh, I got <laughs> I bought the Command and Conquer like all the uh, original games. There was like a package that that they came with. Oh, oh uh, dude, I love Command and Conquer. Yeah. Death Stranding uh, was verified on deck, so I, that's where I bought that. Uh, it's funny, like, I guess I've never really played a Kojima game. Uh, and, like, I know he's, like, you know, so brilliant, but I just... It was a, it was a, it was a weird game. <laughs> it's just one of, like, it looks like the idea of it, I feel like it seems way cooler than actually what playing it would feel like. And I yeah. could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I don't yeah. know. It just seems like, uh, like, oh, we're checking out this cool, interesting world with some like freaky stuff every once in a while, yeah. you know. Well, I'm gonna throw Jordan under the bus now uh, because I believe it was last year. Jordan and I were doing a bunch of five hour games where we would play the first about five hours of a game and then uh, do an episode about it. And I think we had done five or six. And the final game was Death Stranding, and I played the five hours. Jordan did not play the fire. <laughs> and that was the last that was, turkey. We had never done a we haven't done one since. Uh, so we're gonna We're have still to, waiting for him to finish those five hours of Death Stranding. Yeah. I wrote down notes. Uh I probably forgot <laughs> everything, but um no, it's such it's such a weird game. Like the uh I would say that the the production value like blew my mind like because i haven't really played very many kojima games either like i I haven't really played like i played metal gear solid but i mean it's like a ps1 game right like it's not yeah i've never even played a metal gear game yeah so and uh i i played i i think there was um a, a remade version of metal gear solid for the gamecube but it's like the worst version of it I, I've, I've heard <laughs> i hate metal gear games <laughs> yeah it's the only one you played yeah um so yeah it's like really the only kojima experience i had going into uh going into death stranding but yeah like it it felt like like the the cinema scenes and kind of like everything else about the like everything besides the gameplay like blew my mind yeah (laughs) but the gameplay itself was like oh man like this is it's a walking simulator (laughs) like you're basically walking from like one city to another like over weird terrains with the sole goal of just not being killed. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I, I, I remember the mystique I, and I feel like that he brings that pretty much with any project he's on. Like, Ooh, like this could be weird and crazy and cool. Um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Like I said, like the, the idea of it and then just sounds like it'd be better, you know, but yeah. And then uh, all the Bethesda. Well, I guess we'll have to see what future Bethesda, if future Bethesda games that end up on there. But like all the Bethesda games uh, are are uh, available on Steam as well. Uh, yeah, I actually I've wanted never... to try Skyrim VR one of these days. I would say I still haven't played Skyrim, and and you know I've only played a tiny bit of Fallout Four. Uh, uh, Alex is actually on sale. yeah. Alex picked it up during uh, the summer sale, and he, I guess he's played a lot of Four. He he said he really liked it. Yeah, I I really liked it. There there's a lot that you can do in four, like with the tower defense mechanics and in, in your community and uh, just exploring stuff and getting into trouble. Yeah, one but, of these days maybe. <laughs> yeah, like there's just there's just so few games uh, that you can't play on a deck, like and they're pretty much like Nintendo based <laughs> it's like Xen- xenoblades that's that's about the only yeah, game not on the pc of. yeah fat chance yeah uh, you'll get it over there but because even playstation's putting out their games on pc now yeah it is interesting to see that you know 
but it makes sense. It's like, you know, they must just have the sales data. Like anyone who's going to buy this game is going to buy it within the first X amount of months. We'll leave it out there. So they don't like have that carrot at the stick that it's going to go to PC that soon, you know? And then, and then, yeah, then we get to swoop in and get a whole second audience, you know? Yeah. Now from the sounds of it, they're not always uh, optimized uh, terrifically for PC. (laughs) but i mean i would assume that like that's one you know, where you just got the wrinkles wait. they'll they'll work out eventually i would say that and that might be one too where it's like wait like a little bit after you know like don't get it right at launch yeah you know if they have a history because i feel like that, that's the majority of games i mean it, it with a lot of these like bigger games that get brushed out sometimes you know it's like they sort of stink in the beginning and then they they make it work which, you know, obviously you shouldn't be um, rewarding developers for doing that. But like with Cyberpunk, right, like that game sucked an egg when it came out. And now, like everyone talks about, like how amazing it is. Yeah, uh, that, that's on my list, too. I want to although like that, that would I know it. you can do Cyberpunk on the Steam Deck, but I feel like that's a PS5, a PS5 game for sure. Yeah, if you're playing in handheld mode with uh, no access to an AC outlet, uh, you won't be playing Cyberpunk for long, I don't imagine. (laughs) You get 45 minutes of play. Um, (laughs) Although, from uh, what I understand, the the OLED, they they upgraded the battery, so... Yeah, well, there's a few upgrades that they did uh, to the OLED that, that, yeah, that has led to better battery life in that version. Yeah, I think the fan, right? So it's like, it's more quiet... It's got better battery life, and then I think it just yeah keeps keeps everything cooler, which, like you said, sort of probably in turn is what is helping with the battery and everything. Yeah, yeah. So really, like it's it's no better time. You you came in at the perfect time uh, to to become a Steam Deck boy. Yeah, like my biggest worry was like, oh, is the Switch Two going to get announced and turned around in like less than a year? You know, and then uh, like, oh, I just did this big old purchase, and then. You know, but I think at this point, it probably wouldn't be till November earliest. I guess I was in the camp that it could be in March, sort of like a, to mirror the Switch release. But they're not going to talk about Switch 2 until after Christmas because they don't want to like muddy the, the waters for potential sales. Right. Most likely yeah. is what I would think. So it's like, are they really going to announce announce it and release it within three months? Like, I can't imagine that. So. I'm thinking, yeah, probably the latter half of 2025. And at that point, it's like, well, I'll just get another handheld and then, <laughs> you know, best of both worlds. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, yes. Yeah, I agree. Like, I, I would have to think that there'd be six months from the announced date until when it actually comes out. Because that uh, was that was sort of with Switch was in September. They did like the reveal and then, yeah, and then it was March, yeah. you know, the actual launch. So, um and they've even talked about this time around that they want to make sure that there's they had that they're not going stock, to make right? the announcement until the stock is to the point where uh, there's no scalpers like that. I get that's like their biggest concern is like they don't want to sell out in the first like when when there's a, a, a big buzz for it and people want to pre-order it like they don't want to be like, sorry, we don't got any like they, they're talking yeah. about having like some of the biggest uh, opening day stock uh, in history. Yeah, I mean. Thank God, right? Like it, nothing worse than trying to get a system and it's you're bending over backwards or yeah, the, or you're, you know, people are just buying them up and selling them for crazy amounts. But um, but yeah, it, it it will be interesting because obviously, uh, you know, coming from the Wii U to the Switch, that it was a hope and prayer that they'd be doing well. So now that it was such a home run, they 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 better be ready. Otherwise, yeah, like. <laughs> Then you don't want people turning on you because, uh, like you said, they can't get their hands on it. Yeah. Uh, Unless it just, and then Valve's like, "We got some more OLEDs, baby. Come on down." <laughs> well, that that'll be the the day where they're like, "Oh, we we got the OLEDs, fifty percent off now." Well, I tell you what, it's funny. The during the Steam sale, they actually had like, if you're just getting the LCD, they had a really good price. They were because I guess essentially they they're gonna have like a like one LCD model. And I think, I think it's like the, like super, like not even the two fifty six or it may like gigabyte one, like re- essentially being like by the OLED, you know? Um, yeah. But I guess they were clearing out some of their other stocks. So there's some good, 
there was some good pricing on that, but yeah, you got to get that OLED. Yeah. That, it's so funny. I got with the point store. I've never really interfaced with that. Um, but I got so many points <laughs> when I bought the steam deck, um, that it, it's sort of cool. You get like your, you can change the, Oh old, yeah. Yeah. The like backgrounds the, and stuff. Yeah. yeah the I, background, I still haven't used mine. <laughs> the steam startup movie you can change. Yeah. Um, I just, I, I had so many, I bought a couple and then I just said, pick a random one. So we'll see how that goes. But, uh, but yeah, and then you can like get outlines for your, your profile <laughs> page yeah. and all that. Um, but it, like now that, you know, now that I'll be playing it more, it's, it is something you sort of like, right. Sort of care about maybe a little bit more. Um, you get your yeah. achievements and, and have to get some more friends. I've got you. It's just actually just the dirty mage or <laughs> the dirty, just the thirsty <laughs> mage peeps. Uh, you Paige and Jordan. Although oh, yeah. last not time, even, not even Jordan, Alex. No, I guess, yeah, I guess not. Maybe I should get him on there. I, and like I said, I never really use steam all that much. Um, yeah, but yeah, Jordan hasn't been on in 191 days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know Jordan. He's, uh, I know he has it, but yeah, he's, he's not, he's not much of a PC player. So yeah, we got to get him on the deck, man. Yeah. It's a game changer. Oh, it's just so dang nice. Yeah, dude, just to, to hold it. Oh, just, Mm. that day i tell you what i i waited and waited it was a long day <laughs> <laughs> yeah it sucks when the delivery man because at the end of the day well it's funny too because i saw I, it was ups and he zipped right by my house i'm like you son of a gun you got it <laughs> um and i i mean i figured he would like i don't know i guess maybe it's easier to go start the other way neighborhood and, and work your way back whatever so he came back like an hour and a half later and i was like i could have been playing Oh, I see his Casey running down the street screaming at the dude. It reminds me of when I was a little kid. I've definitely did that before. Yeah, it was. Well, like... I've done that as a grown ass man. <laughs> we we ordered like a hacky sack off eBay. Um, it, and this used to be like when it's like you'd have to send them a check, and then like they'd cash the check, and then like all right, it cleared. All right, we're mail. So it'd take like three weeks to like get <laughs> yeah. anything. And I just remember, like, I was dying in summer every day waiting for my dang hacky sack to come from wherever the heck. Yeah. But yeah, well, I definitely with... stopped, a, stopped a UPS man once or twice. Oh, man. Uh, living in the country, if it's delivered by uh, Canada Post, um, basically, like, they they won't deliver it to my house. So I have to, like, watch for them. And it, and luckily they've changed it now that they have they have like one of those neighborhood boxes now where they they can put like oversized stuff in, but it used to be it's like they would drive by the house and if I didn't answer they would just take it back to the post office and then I'd have oh. to wait another day <laughs> to to wait for like the little sticky note oh, to take geez. yeah so it's not like I could get home from work and like zip to the post office they're like well you can get it the next business day and I'm like no. But yeah, we're come back at the same exact time. You weren't home today, tomorrow yeah. to see if you want it or not. You know, yeah. The Thanks. worst. The UPS was the worst for us because uh, they it, they would try three times and then if it, they would just send it back to the manufacturer. Oh, that's crazy. So I would just avoid retailers that use UPS because I'm like, forget that. Like, <laughs> Josh, Josh uh, took that personally somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I luckily I haven't had too much of an issue with that, but um, but yeah, it like I said, it was just one of those days. Like, of course you're not gonna come early. You're gonna, you're gonna come late. But, but yeah, no, I've been having a ball with it, and like I said, I, I haven't even fired up a a, a good old fashioned RPG yet. So, uh, I, I can't wait. I, I think it's, it's gonna be up there, right? Like, I guess you know, I'd always sort of consider the the DS and 3DS sort of like the RPG machines, right? Like, just so many really awesome RPGs. But, but this thing, just having the huge catalog and like endless endless backlog in terms of just you know any game, like you said, a PS one RPG up to a PS five one, you know, you can you can get it on the Steam Deck. So, and yeah. I, and I'm pretty sure our official Valve T shirt employee t-shirts are going to be here soon <laughs> oh man well it's funny because you had mentioned uh in our slack chat about how once you bought a steam deck it's almost like you're an unofficial employee uh of valve because like all you all you do after you buy one is just tell everyone else about how they should get one too because it's so yep but i mean that's that's the mark of a great product though right is that they don't need to sell it themselves they just let let the consumers uh spread the word 
Yeah, no, absolutely. And and it really is one of those like the second you feel it's just like it's this is just built different. You know what I mean? Like it feels good and, and then you fire it up and whoo. Yeah. And oh it, my little final fantasy machine. Yeah. Well, again, uh, we didn't want this to come off as just like a a 60 minute advertisement for the Steam Deck. Uh, we, we very much are just fans of the platform, uh, excited to share it. I don't recall, like I know we've kind of on and off talked about games that, that I've played on or whatever, but I don't think we've ever really focused on the platform itself and, and the games that you could play on it. Uh, I know we've uh, covered a few, like I remember we've done an episode about uh, the 3DS being an RPG powerhouse, which it is. Uh, I think we did a DS episode, but uh, not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, there's just so many great platforms, but th- this uh, the Steam Deck, uh, well, at least as of now, kind of takes the cake, I'd say. Mm, yeah, and, and like I said, I, I'm looking forward to starting to chip away at some. Um, and hopefully I don't turn into one of the I almost say probably typical Steam user at this point where I, you know, you I've got a thousand games and I've played four of them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You've played five minutes of four. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. One of them I played for a while, though, you know. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, it's it's. Uh, oh, and then the humble bundles, too, and everything. Mm. It's oh, those are, yeah, those it, are brutal especially when there's like two games that you want and then you probably own like the other 10 or something but you still want to buy that bundle all right yeah i'd be stupid not to yeah yeah i I guess yeah good times i'm excited yeah uh so i guess uh for for anyone who already owns the steam deck uh that that's happy to hear about others having a good time want to share your experiences or learn from about it from other people. We do have a, a steam. I'm pretty sure it's still there. <laughs> a death steam deck channel in our discord. Uh, if you go to the thirsty mage.com, uh, there is a button. There's a big discord logo that you can click on and it will send you to our discord channel uh, where you can interact with our wonderful community. We, like I said, we have that, that steam deck channel specific uh, for talking about the hardware. Uh, we also have all the games that uh, pretty much are playable on on the Steam Deck, and uh, Casey and I are starting a Final Fantasy 15 playthrough. So we're going to be uh, kind of uh, cataloging, like we've done, we do, we've done this a few times in the past ourselves, um, kind of just in private messages. Uh, we played through Xenoblade Chronicles 2 together that way. Uh, we played through Rebirth that way. It's just that we just found it's more fun when you know you have a, a someone playing with you that you can. Uh, you know, go back and forth like, oh man, did you see this this part of the game? Like, it's crazy. Um, yeah, especially like you said, and when we're around the same point, I guess in Rebirth, you you got out ahead of me. Um, yeah, it was just Rebirth just uh, uh, sort of lent itself well for those perfect stops to like really make a, a discussion about it. But um, yeah. but yeah, no, it's always fun when you got someone playing uh, along with you, especially when it's an older game, right? Like. Like, I think that's the excitement, like, for for instance, with the Elden Ring DLC, right? Like, just having the zeitgeist of, like, everyone's playing this game right now. You go on, you know, Twitch and watch people play. Um, so, obviously, not that many people will be playing 15 right now, but it is, uh, it'll be cool that we are. And then, yeah, hopefully, you know, even if uh, some people just jump in and, you know, talk about, you know, their experience when they played it originally, um, it'll be good to, to get that sort of interaction going on. Yep. So uh, Casey and I will be sharing uh, thoughts along the way, uh, sharing screenshots. I've already shared a couple uh, funny ones uh, right off the bat. Um, The beautiful title screen. Yeah, the title screen to to start it off. And uh, in the the general chat, I actually joked about um, uh, there's there's this screenshot of Prompto lying on the on the side of the road, uh, exhausted. And I joked that... uh, going back to games that that was me going back to games that have loading screens. Uh, <laughs> when, when you play the PlayStation five so much uh, you forget that loading is an, it is a thing with every other platform. Um, so it's, 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 it's a weird thing to go back to, but I don't, it's, you know, for the few seconds that it takes uh, necessary evil for playing on such a terrific platform. Yeah, it, it can't. Yeah. It's got to concede somewhere, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Can't it can't be number one on everything, I guess. 
But uh, yeah, I want to thank everyone for listening to our uh, 60 minute diatribe on the Steam Deck. And uh, it, it, it's uh, wonderful, uh, uh, all the wonderful things about it. Uh, if, like I said, anybody who's uh, feels the same way as us, uh, hit us up on social media or on the Discord. Let us know what your thoughts are. But uh, until that point, I guess uh, we'll say goodbye for now and we'll see everyone out at the next episode. Adios. Bye.